Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I am Duamel Bentley and honey, I've literally never done a get ready with me and I feel like it's kind of time for a get ready. I'm just not the girly to like talk. I feel like whenever I get into YouTube, I'm kind of like, okay, let's modify and then let's kind of like present a specific way. But I'm kind of wanting to scramble her up. And um, today we're, we're gonna do exactly that. So, of course I've done my skincare. She's Gorgina, honey, she's hydrated. If you wanna know my skincare routine, leave it in the comments down below and subscribe so I can like put up a video, live life. You, you, know, you know the drill, honey. You know what's going on. For makeup today, I'm going to be doing kind of like a natural moment. I wanna be a little bit more radiant, a little bit more like tan. A little bit juicy, goosey, maybe Lucy, I'm not sure. But <laughs> for sure, we're starting with Danessa Myricks. This is a little dirty Anna. I am embarrassed, excuse me, for like two seconds. But this is going to be the primer. This is, you can use this as a tinted moisturizer as well as a primer. I'm going to be pairing this with a yummy skin. Uh, this is the refill for the yummy. The shade on this, one, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's AP. If it's not, I'll correct it down below. But girl. Let's get into this. You can remove with spatula, which it comes in the component. I really like this. I like that they do have several tones in this. I'm definitely one to enjoy these kinds of products. This is supposed to mattify you, keep you beautiful and balanced foundation or without foundation. Now, I am going for more of like a skin dewy look. The reason why I'm using this is more for like blurring any kind of texture or softening the pores out. So I'm going to be grabbing the same foundation brush that I am going to apply the foundation with and just kind of swirl this in here. Now, I don't ever use, uh, girl, you can see this clearly has pigment. To kind of walk out the door, it truly did balance off the redness on my skin. It softens, you know, the texture out and it just looks cute and airbrushed, especially with this brush. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. This is nice and effortless to wear. How are you guys? Leave it in the comments down below. I'm so interested to see and to hear from you. I'm doing good. Life is 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 hustling and, and we're doing what we can. And I really want to make more of an effort to make a presence in the channel. I feel like I haven't been here for like a minute. And I am in the back a lot of the times, but I love interacting with you guys. So please, if you guys are enjoying this, make sure to leave a thumbs up and share it with a friend. You know, you know how this goes, baby. So we do have the yummy skin here. This is looking cute so far. I am also going to be trying the Mario. I always want to call him like Super Mario, but I'm going to be trying the Makeup by Mario concealer today. I have tried this a little bit off camera and I have some thoughts forming, but I really want today's video to kind of really summarize this up, girl. I'm loving how the skin is shining through in the aspect like skincare is there, honey. And she's looking Gorgina. I feel like that's really important when it comes to makeup. If you're someone who's not taking the time to prep your skin adequately, listen, baby, I urge you, urge you to really do take the steps to keep the skin looking gorgeous and hydrated, especially if you're a makeup fanatic, because it really does make the difference to the people who we admire, right? And we follow, they do the work of the skin prep before applying the makeup. And that's why a lot of the times they get these stunning results. So please don't shoot yourself short and definitely take the time to, you know, get into that skincare. It only benefits obviously your work and you if you're wearing it, right? So we've got one layer of dots here. I love applying my foundation like so. I'm just grabbing whatever I have left over and the finger kind of whacking it in the actual brush. You can see the pigment starting to go in there and then just bouncing this back and forth all through the complexion. This is cute. She's living. I love wearing this so, so much. I feel like it just makes your skin look so rich and hydrated. Like every time I wear this, I get so many compliments on how delicious and truly yummy the skin looks. So if you're looking for a product that really makes a beautiful difference in the radiance of your complexion, makes you just look juicy and divine, Girl, look no further. This is the baby. Okay, honey. Very cute. I will say, in my experience, uh, you've got to be careful with 
primers that may be a little bit more on the silicone base because I've noticed that this does break up this kind of foundation. So I'm not sure if this foundation is more oil-based. It doesn't really feel extremely oily, which is why I like because it gives you a beautiful finish, but it's not oily, gunky, heavy, uh, and it does last throughout the entire day. You can start seeing it there. It's kind of messing with the foundation. I don't know what it is with this foundation in my nose. Like we literally go like on a battle every single time I wear this, but I do love the finish of this so, so much. So if you're someone who's like, you know what? I really like the finish, but I don't want to battle too much with like the nose issue, then for sure mix it in with another foundation that you feel like would have a better contrast. Just ensure that the actual mixture of them is appropriate, right? I'm gonna try patting it on because baby, we can't be playing these games, honey. Okay, so we got that down. This brush has really made this foundation gone a while, honey. Like this is this is a little bit of a moment. This is a very full coverage, and I was trying to go for a very soft and gentle virgin esque look, honey. Uh, I guess that's not happening today. I'm gonna hop into the concealer, and this is the makeup by Mario in shade 160. Um, I do like a brighter under eye. That's just kind of like who I am. I can't live without light division in the face. Like I, whenever I do my makeup, I just love to go into town and really just paint up light. I just honestly feel like it just elevates the makeup and it makes you feel stunning, which who wouldn't want to create that effect on themselves, especially when you're trying to do makeup. I just like to squeeze my nose just a bit and then add the concealer. Now this should correct any issues that I am facing with like separation on the foundation. For some reason, it always just does that with me. Please let me know if this happens to you as well. It is a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. So stopping and dotting here. Now, of course, this is supposed to be a little natural moment, but I, you know, everybody has a different definition of what natural looks like, right? So I'm just gonna go a little bit more glam on my natural. And just because, you know, we're in it already, let's just pull her out and brighten her, make her looking fresh and ready for the world. Because it's supposed to be a very natural moment, I'm gonna go with the same foundation brush, keeping it, you know, cohesive, not too much of a difference in the lightness. I just want it to be exactly what we see, which is just that little bit of brightness peeking through. And then it's all about pa 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 da da very that, like we just wanna pat gently into the complexion, not dragging. I feel like if you drag, you're going to make it a little bit less seamless, which is not an issue, but my placement, I do want it to be a little bit more concentrated, especially because we're using the foundation brush, which is giving you a very similar effect to, of course, what we're normally going into the skin. Okay, gorge. I need something smaller and I do have a smaller brush here. I'm just gonna gently dabble this into the complexion, just drag it a little bit upward towards the brow bone. I feel like that just creates the perfect, not the perfect, the perfect eye look, honey. Yes, come through mama. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it just creates this gorgeous softness into the complexion. Okay, so this concealer is not supposed to crease. It's supposed to be very like creaseless and kind of like self-setting if you wanted to wear it like that. I will say that I have worn it in a way that I have not powdered it, I have not set it, and it does work. But if you have fine lines, which a lot of us do underneath the eyes, they are going to go into the fine lines, especially if you're not setting right after application. And for the wearability of their claims, I am gonna give it a second. I'm gonna apply the rest of my creams into the face before setting it just to ensure that if it is going to flare in the fine lines, we can see that and we can see how we can best resolve that issue if it comes down to that, right? But so far we've got highlighting, just having a little bit here little bit of highlighting and the foundation on. To me already, this is looking structured. We have a lot of play in the face. The nose is still bothering me, 
But you know, we're, we're working with her. She's not the easiest girly to work with, Danessa. Over to uh, bronzer. We're gonna be doing the cream bronzer. Utilize this a lot to sculpt the face. I really, really like it. I think it's soft and it plays a really neutral part into if you wanted to hover into contouring. But So I'm just grabbing the same brush that we worked in here. You can use fingers for placement, but because I want something that's going to be structured, but kind of like brushed and fresh, I'm just gonna go in with this. To pat, 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 pat. Kind of creating like a C form. You can go straight out from the ear to meet your contour if you wanna make the skin a little bit more elongated forward. But as you can see here, this is so easy to work with. I also like to drag it right into my eyelid. Just creates the best structure to the eye. And you can already start to see this looking a little bit more framed in the most effortless way. Going back in with this one, I'm gonna be structurizing my jawline as well, pulling it down this way. And of course, from there, we will be blending. So I definitely think you can start to see the difference. Like this looks good, but I feel like this is definitely giving me the cameralization, the play on play that I am looking for. So now that we have kind of bronzed up the face, we've sculpted, now the focus on my is kind of in the center here. I do want to hop in with the blush. I'm going to be using this MAC blush today. This is Heat Index. Uh, the reason why I'm using this color is because I do want something that's going to be a little bit more poppy and a little bit more fresh. Uh, I am going to be utilizing this kind of stippling brush with it. You can go in with your fingers or directly with the brush. I am going to be using fingers mainly and the reason why it's just going to be more for easier uh, non-transfer application. Now with blush placement, honestly, let it be what you like. I feel like for a moment there, honey, we were telling people where to place the blush and we all have different faces. I prefer my blush placement up higher in my cheekbones. I feel like it elongates my face and it just really emphasizes the structure that I want. So, I mean, if this is what you like, girl, do it. But if you want a little bit lower, do it as well, like live your life. Just don't be afraid to try new techniques. You just never know what placement you're gonna like best. That's, I feel like, the best piece of advice. But for me and my preference, I do prefer it a little bit higher. I just feel like if I dropped it too low here, it would make my face more rounded versus more sculpted and elongated, which is what I'm looking for. This blush is very, very cute. I really, really like it. I look, you almost wanna add a little bit more of like a rosiness. But since this has kind of become a little bit more full coverage than I anticipated originally, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to powder and we're gonna have to add a little bit more color. Okay, so so far, I will say after like having this concealer, like I've applied all of my creams, it has not creased on me. So again, very cute if you do not want it to like crease but it is going to still sit in lines, uh, but it's looking pretty good for no setting whatsoever. We will be doing some setting because I do want to brighten up the complexion a little bit more with powder. So let me get these and then let's get started with the setting aspect of all of this. We will be using the Kimchi Chic That White Powder Set and Bake Powder. Um, this is going to be literally in no color translucent. Now this is, amazing it comes with a puff itself i do have a puff in hand as well so i will be removing this this is brand new so i'm excited to crack this open i love how it has this little like star in like a whole shape um, I really like kimchi chic beauty. I think they're really, really fun and really interesting and they work, they work well. I haven't always had the best of luck, let's be honest. I mean, if you've seen reviews where I've worked with um, the brand, uh, they have amazing products, but like every brand, they do have some trial and error, which, you know, 
it's perfectly fine. But moving on to the placement of powder, because this is gonna be a translucent, we will be doing first kind of like a gentle placement everywhere. So for example, we're just picking it up right from in here. And then I wanna make sure that we have a balanced um, powder puff. So I'm just kind of dabbing it on my hand like so, and then just going right into it. Now, what I would advise in the case that, let's say, for example, you're like, you know what? I have quite a bit of creasing or I do have a concealer that's more creamy that is not going to be as easy to like, you know, hold off without setting. Just make sure you're patting back in and then going back in with, you know, whatever powder you're going for. So just pressing this into the complexion, I'm just going back and forth. You can start seeing that this is giving me a very smoothed out texture, and I really love that. I love a powder that is going to lay me down, honey, the way I deserve to be laid down, okay? All right, fully been set to the complexion. What I'm going to do with the same powder is I'm going to kind of carve out the face just to structurize it a little bit more, and I'm gonna be grabbing a couple of more powders to ensure that I can have that brightness that I'm looking for. For brightening, I am going to be using the one size in the ultra pink. Now this is a banger of a powder. I mean, I'm sure that by now you absolutely know this. Everybody and their mother have been talking about this. I'm very glad that this was a very beautiful success um, for the company. Now, Felipe and I, we did do a review on this when it first came out. We lived so much for it. I will say, I don't think anybody's really discussing this. I feel like there is a learning curve with pink powders for anybody who may not be a light complexion or a light to medium complexion. So just please be mindful that you can wear this, you just have to be very vigilant on how you select to wear this. Because if not, it can create a little bit more of a gray cast and contour the undry and make it look a little bit more sunken or lifeless. And I mean, there are ways that you can play with this powder to brighten you up. For example, you can go in with, um, for deeper complexions, you can definitely dive into something that's a little bit warmer underneath this first to create more of like a pound cake strawberry feel, which it'll never dull you, it'll never deepen the complexion. And I feel like that might be something fun to try. This powder always reminds me of like Nesquik um, mixed with like the vanilla powder. If you never did that, girl, girl, what are you, what are you doing? We do have quite a little bit of powder on the face and I'm literally just gonna probably go out to do like nothing. But you know, what? why? Why do we like need a moment to be glamorous, honey? Why can't we just live life and like do what we have to do? While we let this kind of sit into the complexion and to be used for the blushing and then to be used to reinforce the bronzer. For cheeks, darling, we're gonna be using the one size. This is the Cheek Clapper and Attention Seeker. I am going to be using Yes Sir, uh, which literally brings me back, literally. Um, I grew up in a military household. So Yes Sir, Yes Ma'am was very relevant and very real in my home, which is kind of funny, but yeah, you suck the cheeks in, at least this is what I do, darling. Just to give it a freshness of pink. And I like to also go a little bit right on top of the forehead, just to give myself a little bit of balance into the complexion. I feel like a lot of the times we get nervous and anxious about our blush placement because we're not giving the complexion balance. Um, I think it's a very important key to note, right? Uh, we have a little bit on the nose. Let's add a little bit on the eyes 
just because, you know, why not? Para ka ka ka, para bing para boom, gorge. Okay. Now you can leave it like this or you can add a little bit of a topper. Uh, I am going to add the topper probably at the end when I kind of like set and mist everything down. But so far this blush is looking quite dense and quite pretty as well, which I live for. Now, be using the Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is the 03 Tan Light Soft Radiant Bronzing Powder. If you guys haven't tried this formula from Huda Beauty, girl, this is amazing, and especially if you, I feel like bronzer sometimes can be very dull and muddy. I've done a lot of bronzed work with creams. I wanna enhance something that's gonna reflect the complexion really beautifully, and because I have a little bit of that rosiness still, it's just gonna be so, so stunning. So I'm just giving it a couple of swirls, dabbing it back into my, my hand, and repicking it. This is pressed, so that is the reason why I'm going a little bit stronger. I really wanna see the kind of lay pigment that the brush is giving me, and that's why I'm doing it like so. So again, I just pull and then start buffing out. I feel like this makeup is looking so bronzed on camera. Am I like extra bronzy? <laughs> and I don't know it. Felipe! Have I gone mad, darling? It marries right into the blush. And I feel like that topper will really just kind of amp it up just a bit more, which I'm living for. Um, let's dust all this powder off. Uh, I think I want to do it. I want to grab just a little bit of this pink powder just to kind of soften everything out. And I'm just grabbing literally what's left on the lid, not to grab more than I should. And then I'm also grabbing a little bit of what's left in here, which is literally just nothing. I'm just cleaning up. This is, I guess, a tip not to like throw away so much product. And I'm just grabbing a handheld mirror just to kind of see a little bit closer. And then I'm just gonna try and dust off the bake and just give it a little bit more of that rosiness. For brows, I have used the Huda Beauty, and this is the shade Rich Brown, hashtag bomb brows. And honestly, super easy. I do love how thin this pencil is. A lot of people are like nervous about how thin it can be. And honestly, I live for it, 100%. It's the cutest. I love, love, love it. I feel like it just does such a good job at like really helping create density within the brows. It, even if you wanted to drag it very gently across the brow hairs to create this really gorgeous line, you're welcome to do that without any kind of crazy mistakes. Cause again, it's just so fine that it just works like a goddess, honey. Analyze my brows. I am gonna be using the Dior. This is a Dior Show uh, Brow Gel Pump in Brow. This is in 011, so it's a lighter shade. I do like to play a lot with colors when it comes to brow gels, cause I feel like they do create a lot of dimension into the face and I live for that. So grabbing my mirror here, and then I always like to start it back a little bit more backward than just the regular um, start of the brow. Cause if there's a lot of denser product, it'll lay here and I can pull it back versus like, oh, this is too much, you know? Subtlest, nicest boost of tonality. Cause these are pretty rich brows. I'm kind of living for them, but you know, definitely this helps really reduce any kind of richness that you may be nervous by. Okay, so primarily, this is kind of done, honey. I'm looking gorge, I am feeling gorge, which is literally the most important part. But I look, I feel like I need a little bit of highlighter. And I have never used this as a highlighter. I always use them as like blush toppers. I'm gonna be using the um, House Labs Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighters. This is in Pink Amethyst. I thought it was very, very on theme. I'm kind of vibing and living with like what we've got created here. I'm just making sure that all lines are just blurred and gorge. This is what pink amethyst looks like. And the reason why I'm using something a little bit more fluffier is because I do want a soft glow. I don't necessarily feel like I want like, like a very 
very precise, typically how I wear it. Um, radiance on the complexion, I just want it to be like gentle and like, ah, oh, you know? Like she's cute, she's just like living her life. Something soft. Little bit on the nose. So now that we have that. Two hours later. Yeah, now that we have that, we need to mist this whole situation down. And the reason why we want to do that is because we want to melt everything into the skin. And from there, I think we're done. I, I also need some lips. But let's go and mist. Let me get my misters because I am going to be setting everything with the one size uh, to, until dawn. This works beautifully. But I do like to mist the complexion before I apply this as a barrier to solidify. All right, guys, so this is my full face done up. I'm living for it. It's very beachy and very pinky on -y. Girl, you know the tea, you know the drill. If you haven't subscribed, thank you for watching this far. But baby, join the Dufay Nation. But with that said, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for coming on this get ready journey with me. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.